Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are back to finish the last of the main LEs being wind. Um, one thing I would like to mention is again that is currently Magnafest. I will be doing Akasha and Bahamut high levels on my Twitch live stream. I've been doing it for the last couple of days. We have a couple of gold bar drops, so if you want to come and participate and you want to host as well, you can join me on my live stream. I uh, tend to host it around 11 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. Um, I ping it on my Discord whenever I do, so just throwing it off there. Secondly, this currently we have the Gotcha Pin event going on. I have not done a video on a character as of yet because I don't like doing videos on incomplete characters. Um, the skill three is pretty decent, so I want to see how it works. It's, does it have a turn restriction or anything like that? Until we know, um, I won't be doing a video on the character. However, when the character does get its third skill unlocked, I will do a video on it. Just case anybody asking. And with that, let's get on to the um, the meat and potatoes. Wind Ellie. Now, things I'm expecting in this build, I expect a couple of gun builds, a gun and fix hybrid grid. Well, I'm guessing like the, the Tima Omega build will be like a, a mixed grid because the earth grid was kind of the same way. Um, a harp grid, a uh, Zeth grid, a free to play Zeth grid with Garuda bows, maybe three Garuda bows, like a 100% crit variant. I'm not too sure, but let's uh, go see. So we're looking at the first build, the SR build. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna skip it. Let's be honest, same thing, blah, 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 blah. Six Magna weapons, two EX, yeah, same thing. I mean, it's like the same thing. It's gonna be the same thing for every element. I'm just trying to cut down time. It's useless, so just don't look at that. Anyways, onto the first build, which most people who are building win will run into, the t Omega build. Now, this is offense two, defense two, effort two. Honestly, this is actually pretty fine. I think defense should be one, maybe, and effort should be one, but offense should be two, because it's one of the strongest magna builds in the game. Works best for team Mont malice weapons, so yeah, it's a mixed hybrid build, just like the Yig the Yig build. Three guns, two fist, two ex Bahamut and seraphic weapon. This is pretty much par for course. I don't see any problems with this. The reason that you go with the fist is because getting what five guns can be a hassle as a newer player, so I fully understand that. The main hand is whatever. I mean. Wow, compared to um, Earth, you can see like the, the difference in accessibility for weapons. They have way more access here when it comes to main hands. I don't think any of these main hands are worth a damn though. Um, so that's one thing I'll mention. Main handing any of these weapons are kind of mediocre at best. So GW dagger, best dagger with the main stay for wind. I don't think it. I don't think it is nearly as much though. But back in the day, it used to be the mainstay. Other than that, um, looks like an okay grid to me. I have no real complaints about it. Let's get on to the next build. So now we go to the high level builds. Something more I can relate to. Tmot Omega Build Two, an enhanced version of Tmot Omega Build Amenity. Boost your attack in dire situations. So we're looking at a full gun grid, I believe. Be five guns. Yes, five guns. Double Zeno, Bahamas, Seraphic Weapon, GW Dagger. Got your, this main hand's not worth a damn. The gun is not worth, uh, isn't there a better gun for for Earth? I mean, for, for a wind now? I feel like there's a better gun for wind. Maybe I'm losing my mind though. Melee, Tmot Fist still, bow. I think this is from the Shadowverse events, Shadowverse maybe. And the harp is from the side stories. So, this grid is. used to be a seven gun grid back in the day. It, it reminds me of the good days, Cosmos gun. <laughs> um, now, I feel it's still okay. The only problem is that dropping health on when it's kind of hard. Um, without Demon. Demon Breath, I believe it's called. Or Demon Bream. Is it Demon Bream or Demon Breath? Well, let's take a look here. Right. 
breath or bream? Bream, okay. So without this summon, Demon Bream, you have a hard time dropping health on Wind. Unfortunately, Wind has really good characters that protect themselves, like Shiate, Neo had Barrier, stuff like that. So it, while the grid is good, it just doesn't synergize really well with Wind characters. That's why, if you didn't know, back in the day, while this was the main damage build for Wind, what people used to do was they used to slot in Zoe. Yes, we used to slot in Zoe on Wind just so they can find a way to drop health and we would either use monkey to kill zoe have zoe die from special effects ogies there's many ways to kill off zoe but the main ability for this grid to get maximum potential was via zoe so zoe was a win character at, at a time um not much anymore because demon bream is the thing but about let's say 2017 um Zoe and Wind was a good combo. So, looked like a perfectly fine build to me. This is something I've ran, I have videos on it. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to mix, mess up this grid, I feel. So, what I am scared to look at though is the Harp grid, which should be the next build we're looking at. Team Out Malice Omega build three, offense is four. Um, that's fine. Defense is two. Yeah, but I mean, when it's an LD, should be defense three for the summon call alone. That's having a mirror image on a, on a call. It's pretty good. Effort is four. Um, I think that's fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I think three, three ish should be a thing. Grimnir, Shiva. It's really easy to get honors and and Grimnir thanks to Shiva. So this build focus on Grimnir weapons. Focus on landing lots of critical hits. You mean guaranteed critical hits? Uh, this is one of the situations where I feel like they should have two builds because the sub summon matters quite a bit. I'm not even gonna look at the build here because I'm assuming it's the 100% critical build, the 100% critical build, and that runs double team out, which is three harps. The only problem is that you don't run that build for everything. Uh, it tends to fall off in Nell Ellie without element attack boost. So, for example, if you're doing Yubaha high level. If you don't have a constant supply of Ellie attack um, up from your characters or your main hand or something, you're better off running Team Out Grimnir for damage on Null Ellie. So that would be Team Out Malice, Fa, anything like that. Double Team Out is not the best damage unless you have a lot of Ellie attack up. Unfortunately, Wen does not have good characters when it comes to Ellie attack up. All of Wen's core units besides Lesia. Um, don't give LD attack up, so. No Morigna's not a core unit. Um, it depends. You see it's a core unit in certain builds, but generally in the casual standard builds, she's not core. So just in case anybody was thinking about her. She's more of a Bahamut high level specialist character where she like specializes really good in certain areas, like with really min max builds, but um, you, you won't see her too often. But yeah, so here we have the two harps, my fault, three harps, two gun build. Um, two EX is not what you want to run actually in this build. I don't think you should be running two EX. This should be one EX. Uh, personally, I like to run three magnas and three harps. That's that's what I like to run. Uh, you have to be running an opus here. So that's one, that's one major mistake here that there's no opus in this grid and they ran two EX. I feel like they dropped the ball here. So this is actually a bad grid. Um, the Bahamut, it's okay, depending on the main hand though. The Bahamut's fine, but I feel like the lack of Opus here, it should be here, and it, it, it's a it's a big damage loss here by running two EX, a Bahamut, and Seraphic Weapon, because you're most likely to be running double T-Mod. So you're not really maximizing anything here. The main hand options are Dagger and Gun. Nobody does this, so just ignore that option. Dagger's fine, um, generally be like a roast dagger. Depends on the weapon, that's why I said that Bahama is fine. Depends on the weapon though. If you're running Love Eternal, Reunion. Reunion's a really good main hand if you're running this build. Uh, it benefits quite a bit from the Ogi. So. The, the lack of an Opus really kills this build and no one should be doing the double EX. Like you need an Opus, even if the Opus is skill level 15, that's fine. I mean, it's not better than the fist at skill level 20, but 
Opus is okay. So I feel like they dropped the ball in this area quite a bit. Kind of disappointing. Um, I was okay with the fire one not having it, but I feel like the wind one should have it because it's a good build. So I don't know why they just omitted the Opus from this build when they have it in the water and earth builds. Uh, other than that, that's okay. Um, now let's talk about the Grimnir build. So what you do when you go to Grimnir, depending on what Opus key you have and um, what you're doing, you can either run two harps and four guns. Well, it'll be three guns. It'll be two harps like this. It'll be three guns and an Opus. Or you can run one harp, four guns, and an Opus. It depends on what content you're fighting. Um, generally, when you take more damage, you, you would drop to one harp and four guns. And if you're running um, something where you don't take much damage, two harps, three guns, and an Opus. And Null Ali. So if you're doing like, let's say a really fast Yubaha high level, then you would, you would take quite a bit of damage from the triggers. So you would run four guns and one heart and an opus. But other than that, um, it's okay. It's not okay because there's no opus in that grid, by the way. So it, it hurts the overall damage quite a bit. Wow, there are four Zeph builds here. What the hell? Why are this? I see it's a uh, CA build. They have a Sky Ace build for Zeph. Yo, look, already, bro, everything effort is max. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Why did Zeph get four builds? Okay, whatever. Zephyrus build. A build powered by Zephyrus Aura. Make good use of Eunice. They have the Eunice grid here? Oh my god. They have the Eunice grid here, but they don't have the Prometheus grid. Huh. This grid's pretty good. <laughs> um, there's no grand weapons here. Uh, generally, you would slot in one grand weapon. It depends on the situation, though. Um, the uncapped spirit's fine. I've seen people slot in um, the Magna opens into this grid instead of Zeph, but I don't know. To be honest, I don't have much experience with this grid as I didn't farm it because I'm going the Grimnir route. You may see the grid later down the line, but um, this grid, I mean, this is this. These five weapons are core. It's technically these six weapons are core, so you can't really change this six weapons. The it, what you have options to change the main hand, these two weapons, and this one. Generally, you want to you want to run an uncap unless you're doing, I think, far high level, so. You would run an uncapped spear here. That's fine. Uh, the opus you run generally is the primal opus, but I've seen people slot in magna opus. I'm not too sure about that one though. Um, the one problem with these weapons is that they they do all have normal mod, but I believe it's medium. I mean, I forget. Is it medium, right? Yeah, it's medium. So I can understand why you can slot in a magna opus here because if you were to slot in a magna opus, it gives you more space to put in a grimnir spear. This is what I believe people do. Um, I'm not too sure about this build in general, though. I believe this should be Zephyrus Grimnir by looking at the grid. So that's that's what I'm looking at right now. I don't believe it's double Zeph. I don't think this will work nearly as well with double Zeph. There's not enough stamina here to really benefit running double primal. You actually have a, like a big damage loss by running double primal in this one. Now, it could be made up from the buffs from Monkey and Neo, but I'm pretty sure you run Grimnir. However, you do have an Ultima main hand, so I guess you get enough LD attack from the Ultima. But still, I feel like it's lacking a lot in the stamina mod because you only really would get it from the Opus key. That's if you're running uh, stamina on this key. So I'm not too sure. This one looks weird to me. The one, the builds I see, I've seen at least of this grid would run either Magna Opus and Grimnir Spear, double Grimnir Spear, and just drop the Uncap Axe, my fault, the Uncap Spear, um, Reunion Main Hand. I've seen a couple builds on it, so this one looks like the worst one I've seen so far. Um, so I'm not too sure on this one, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't farmed it, so. 
I have not farmed it. Maybe in the future, probably never. Um, <laughs> the problem with that grid is that those, as I mentioned, the six weapons in the grid are locked in. You can't change the six weapons, so it really hurts the grid in the long haul when it comes to flexibility. So that's the one problem with that grid. While the grid is great damage, um, as power creep comes in, new weapons come in, it's going to be harder and harder to build for it because you're, you're kind of weapon locked as to what you can do. Zephyrus build two. Oh, that's why it's four, four. Cause there's no grand weapons in that grid too. Oh, this is supposed to be a free to play grid, huh? Now looking at this. Oh, the one that they put no grand weapons into that grid. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the free to play variant that they showcasing. Though I'm pretty sure this build free to play loses to Team Ot Malice. My fault, Team Ot Omega. Yeah, it does. Free to play loses to this. Team Ot Omega is the better build. For free to play, I'm pretty sure. This build only surpasses it if it pay to win. As in, you have Grimnir Spears, Rose Love Eternals, and also an option. Um, reunions. You need you need grand weapons in the grid to surpass Magna. Zephyrus build two, an enhanced version of Zephyrus build, upgraded with grand weapons, offense max, defense two, effort um, max. I'm believing this to be a love internal grid. The only reason being that the, the fence is two and it can't be Grimnir because Grimnir is hell of defense. So I'm guessing this is a love internal grid. Well, what is this Highlander grid? What is it? A midi? Oh, it's not Highlander. I thought it was Highlander, dude. What is this? Who, who would run this? So it's supposed to be a midi build. Could you, I see the wind gistless here. Um, but when uh, this, uh, and you only have dagger. Where are you, where are you running this? Why would anyone run this? Now, if this was to be a far high level grid, I can I can understand it, right? Far high level makes total sense to me. But this is on Ellie because of this. So I, I what is this abomination? Why would don't 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 invest into this? Just don't. The problem with winning Gisela's right now is that while it's great, the damage boost they can give in optimal settings, it's hard to get to low health, right? When Zeph has the ability to solo every raid in the game easily, easily for a reason, because when characters are crazy strong and they just destroy bosses with next to no effort. So dropping your health, unless you're running Demon Bream, is rather hard on wind. So not only do you have to run at least two Demon Breams to get decent damage out of the two Gisela you're running um, and this dagger, it's this this grid looks to be all over the place. I just why would how would this upgrade it? This is weaker than the unit's grid. I'm pretty sure. Unless you're at low health, around 50-ish, maybe, maybe 60. I'm pretty sure this is weaker than the units. Now, free to play units, maybe not. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's a weaker grid. Yeah, that's weird. I, I don't I don't like that one. I I don't why. That's a, I think they just put this grid in. This is a way to sell these weapons. <laughs> Honestly, I really believe they put this grid in here just as a way to sell us these weapons, bro. Because I don't think they make as much money from these weapons compared to Gisela. And I, I think they put this grid in here, even though it's an abomination, as a way to, to really push the, the weapon. But that's the only thing I can understand, because right now looking at this grid it's like abomination, bro. I just don't see a point of it. Um I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. Zephyrus stamina build. Oh, this the Grimnir Spear build. Um 
an enhanced version of Zephyrus build that utilizes the stamina skill for impressive damage. And right about that, um, it should be three, maybe three two. We'll see. Or three three. Three three uh, it was the build people used to run. I don't know if people still do it though. But we have um, max offense, defense, and effort. Yeah. Well, defense would be max in my opinion, to be honest. This build is like, how do you die? You got monkey, you got 90k health. I mean, what's killing you? Fight that Skyfall, right? What's what's going to kill you? So, it's three two. Okay, that's fine. Um, three two is fine. Mm. So you have the uncap weapon. That's why it's not three three. I assume. Uh, three love eternals, two grimness spear. You can tell that. Most of the stuff is up tamed here because it's the grid I'll be running on this account. Um, so, honestly, this looks fine to me. I ain't got much complaints about it. Now, you can slot in the Magna Opus here. I think if you run um, these two Grim, if you run three Spears, you run in Magna Opus. I've seen people run Magna Opus instead, so. Main hand is kind of not the greatest main hand i have to prefer reunion there's a reunion here oh no don't 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 do this reunion best main hand for for wind so it should be a reunion here this this is just waste i'm pretty sure each of these are gonna be ultima right so yeah whatever let's ignore the weapon, the main hand um what you can do is you can drop a love eternal for a reunion main hand and then run a third spear magna opus i believe it's like the most optimal build um, that will only apply to, I think it applies to everything. However, I believe if you're running that build, if you drop below like 90% health, yeah, I think it's 90, you'd lose damage with three spears, pretty sure. So now staying at 90% is pretty easy on wind because you know, they're characters, but that's the one problem with the build. It's that if you're running the three spear build, you, you if you drop under 90, I believe, um, you do lose quite a bit of damage. However, your grid has like what? 70k health, I believe, with Magna Opus. So, uh, in terms of building this, not worth a damn. Don't build it. Um, unless you really truly love Wind, it's an option for people. But to be honest, you're best off doing the, the bow grid that I posted earlier. I wish they did the proper bow grid though, the one with grand weapons, because honestly, it's the best invest build right now for wind unless you truly love wind or you happen to be a whale and already have the weapons so i really feel like they should have did the proper build with this one with grand weapons in here because this is the one most people should be going for unless you are your pockets are really deep or if you happen to have the weapons already done from future mistakes in your life <laughs> yeah i call that mistakes bro if you build in if you build zephyrus like what in 20 17 it's a mistake <laughs> it's a mistake i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it <laughs> it's a mistake bro um uh, so yeah i think i think the build's fine um it's actually similar in damage to the the bow grid uh, it, it edges out a little bit over it but it's not like oh my god huge damage difference or anything it's it just edges out a little bit and that's only if you're topped off, right? If you're not topped off, it loses in damage, actually. But being topped off is really easy, right? Monkey heal, green pot, blue pot, many ways. Be surprised to take even that much damage anyway. Uh, and now we have the Zephyrus CA build with, with Sky Aces, right? The Zephyrus build is centered around high damage output, charge attacks are something to behold. Speaking of which, one thing about this grid is I don't know how to slot in Sky Aces, right? I'm not too sure about this. So I, I don't know what has changed with Sky Ace, right? Sky Ace has a low attack modifier, unfortunately. I believe it's small, right? It's small and medium, so it's kind of hard to slot it in with Grimnir Spears because, you know, Grimnir Spear already has no attack mod. So the, the run of Sky Ace, you already have even less attack mod. So you're more reliant on Love Eternals double attack mod so i'm not too sure what about what's the new optimal build 
for the stamina build with Sky Ace, right? Because you at least want to slot in one Sky Ace. At the bare minimum, for 2019, you want to slot in one Sky Ace bare minimum. Unless you're doing the um, auto build on Ellie and your main goal is to drop Shiva. Therefore, you don't need that. So right here, we're looking at the one Sky Ace. It's actually pretty, <laughs> this is exactly what I was just talking about, huh? Um, yeah, this, like, word for word, exactly what I was talking about. Now, I've seen people run two Sky Aces, right? For more Ogi builds. Now, I don't know how good that performs. As I mentioned that this weapon does have a small attack mod. I was right, yeah, small attack, Fandango. It does not have anything else. So I'm not too sure uh, how that performs with two of them. So I can't tell you from personal experience or anything because I haven't tried it myself. Maybe in the future, uh, I can give a better opinion on it. But currently right now, I just have no experience with it. So I can't tell you. I do, however, I do, however, think that with two Sky Aces, it really depends on your characters more than anything else. Like characters and the content you're taking on, right? So for example, I believe that this two Sky Ace build is more for far high level speed runs that centered around six yet day and stuff like that. I've seen it in that. Um, I haven't seen it in anything else though. Like in normal regular content, most builds go to the auto build with relies on Neo, Lesia and Shiva. Um, so it's kind of hard to beat that in low defense content, even in medium defense content because of how easily one can cap autos thanks to coma, the amount of buffs they can stack. So it's kind of hard to beat that. But in, in like far high level, I have seen people run double sky ace. So I'm not too sure. I'm not a win specialist or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody has a graph and they want to show their graph all willy nilly and brag about how, how steep and how curvy their graphs. <laughs> You guys know those people, right? Who want to talk about how deep their curves are on their graphs. So I'm pretty sure you can get one of them to go and sell you their graph. <laughs> you their gra this guy, I feel like it's gotten really lewd, but um, I'm pretty sure you can get somebody to sell you some graphs <laughs> on what's the best option and what the best way to build it. However, I've always been one person that likes to experience it and try it out. So maybe in the future, um, I'm not too sure about this build. I think it's fine. I don't see much to complain about here. The main hand is the biggest complaint, in my opinion. I actually think the Sky Ace is a good main hand, right? Because it gets the um, adversity to the party, right? Or that's only to main character. I don't remember, but uh, I remember having adversity at the main, as a Ogi. So I am not too sure about this build. I have no experience with it right now, so I can't tell you. But that's how I feel about these builds. In terms of, let's just rank them all. Obviously ignore, this is decent, this is, this is decent, this is abysmal, as in it's a, it's a good build, but they don't have the opus there, which is, I don't understand. This is the free to play variant, which they did to pay to win. Um, they could have did both. I think they should have done both, because this is build is actually very good. It's a very, very good build. I just wish they saw the other grand, the grand variant, because you know, that's the one people expire to get, not the free to play, because the free to play does lose out to the Magna build. This is a fucking heap of garbage. This build is okay. However, I don't know too much about the CA variant. They just put in one Sky Ace here, but I'm not too sure overall if that's the best way to go. I, I do believe you should put in one Sky Ace for the stamina build. So I'm, I'm just not too sure. I, I don't know. No Monica on this account right now. So. Maybe in the future with some bars and we'll see how it goes in the future with a video. But until then, um, thank you guys for watching. God, 30, man, these videos are too hard, man. It's too hard. Uh, whatever. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.